Every day, millions of people swig down medications and supplements in the form of pills or capsules. The idea is that they easily deliver medicine to the stomach or lower down the GI tract and kind of quickly pass through the esophagus. Mayo Clinic gastroenterologist Dr. Karthik Ravi says sometimes pills get stuck on their way down. If this happens, you could be at risk of what's called pill-induced esophagitis. Here's what happens. A person swallows a pill and it gets hung up in the esophagus. The contents of the pill leak out and damage nearby tissue, causing an ulcer. So typically patients are going to complain of chest pain. The chest pain is going to be pretty quick in onset. It's going to happen within a couple of hours to days of taking the tablet. It's going to be pretty severe. It can radiate to the back. It's typically worse when they swallow. Um, and they sometimes will even notice that it may be more difficult to swallow. What pills can cause esophagitis? Dr. Ravi says potentially any medication could, but the biggest culprits tend to be antibiotics, specifically doxycycline or tetracycline. Others include biphosphonates, which are medications for osteoporosis, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories such as ibuprofen, and supplements such as iron and potassium. Rarely there's long-term consequences. Usually people will develop symptoms pretty quickly, and once a diagnosis is made, we take away the pill. We'll oftentimes give people what we call anti-acid medications, so medicines called proton pump inhibitors. We might give them something to control the pain, and typically people get better within a week with really no long-term consequences. People can develop complications like strictures or narrowing of the esophagus, but those typically occur with repeated injury. Most of the time, doctors can make a diagnosis after hearing about your symptoms. They may also perform an endoscopy to look inside your esophagus. So, how do you prevent pill-induced esophagitis? Follow directions on the bottles. Take medication with at least 8 ounces of water and don't lie down for 30 minutes afterwards. Those are really the best things you can do to try to prevent developing pill esophagitis. For Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Vivian Williams.